some street spots, maybe hit a park, not really sure yet, but streets is definitely the main focus of the day. We got Brady in the front, Chewy in the middle, and Jose Cuevas in back. So this is for sure one of my favorite spots to go to, but planes are always flying by, and there ain't no shade, so you gotta bust out the bucket hat. It's best just to run up it. These guys are rookies, I don't know what they're doing. Here we go! Looks like people have been partying here, man. Been getting down. Yeah, one time, funny story, I came here with Aaron Cairo, and there were these two bums. Or no, they weren't bums. They weren't bums. They're straight crackheads. Chilling here, all cracked out. This lady was like coming down or something. She starts yelling at me. You guys can't stay here. This is my home. This is where I live. And me and Aaron are like, what? So we still skated. Got a little crazy though, so we left. This is a really awesome spot, but it's kind of deceiving. It's really fun, but the ground is ultra rough. And you can't really tell that until you come. But otherwise you see it and you're like, oh, I wanna go there, it looks great. But most of the people I bring here don't end up really liking it. See what I mean though? Yeah. yeah, I was just telling Chewy, a lot of the times when you start filming, you tend to speed up and you won't realize it, but it actually does make tricks a lot harder, especially a spot like this, where the thing, the obstacles are really close together because it shortens your setup time. Only by like a half a second, but that really does matter. So next time you're filming, if it mysteriously gets harder, try and notice your speed. He's trying the super good water. <laughs> Alkaline water, man. Got to get that high quality H2O. Damn, this shit got flavor. Good, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait. Dude, I forgot. I put my, uh, there's a supplement in there. So it'll give you energy, dude. I'm sorry. Damn. It's like, it's like, it's like super Kool-Aid. <laughs> Dude, look at that. I just felt something on my toe. I think I got glass in my shoe. Damn, oh you do? Yeah. Dude, I haven't done that in so long. But I could feel something hit my toe. Whoa, this was in your Wow. Look at that, guys. Oh my God, look how sharp that is too. Hey, you wanna see something trippy? I felt something poking it too. I think your insole has a hole on it. No way. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can take it out, but you see that little white thing in there? It's like a hole. Damn, like it stabbed through. Sketchy, dude, that would've ruined my day. All right, Ashads, you've seen some good days, but I'm gonna film this line and then go grab my other ones. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sketched out right now, I'm trying to make sure I don't step on any, any type of glass. Good job, dude, that was sick. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go get my other shoes, though, because I'm like hella scared skating around right now. I try and do uh, get a piece of glass in my toe, especially when I'm actually starting to skate well. <laughs> Well, these shoes put in some work, but that's kind of dangerous, so I'm gonna leave them over here by the fence. If anyone sees them and wants them. I had to throw back on my old primitive dunks. These are also awesome. So, skate those. I got a super glue my other shots. Just leave those there for anyone who needs them. I'm super lucky though. Did you guys see that chunk of glass? That was sketch, man. That 
smells good. So what do you think of the spot, dude? Pretty fun. Cool, Pretty right? Just like random and perfect. Yeah. Two random metal ledges. It's a little closer together than you thought though, huh? Yeah. That's a... like just the ground's a little like bumpy. I just like imagined it being like perfectly smooth and like kind of lower. Yeah. But yeah, a little bit taller. Yeah. That's the that's the main thing everyone realizes though when they get here. It's like a little bit rougher and bumpy than they would have thought. And the ledges are closer together than you think. On fisheye, everything looks further apart. On to the next spot. Damn, you guys got a lot of stuff done pretty quick though, because we weren't there that long. Yeah, I feel like I feel like no matter what, even if you're not sure what you're working for, it's still good to have a project that you're working on. Just so that no matter what, you're working towards something, you know? Yeah, that's, that's how we have our, our mindset. Like, just get clips. Yep. Like, whatever it goes out to, it goes out to. Yep. You yeah. gotta have goals in life. You know what I mean? If you don't have some type of goal that you're trying to accomplish or get done, then you're, you're kind of just, like, floundering. You know what I mean? Like, I know for me, for sure, I have to have goals. Like, if I don't... If I'm not working towards something very specific, I don't really progress that fast at anything, you know? But like, say with my skating right now, one of my main goal is to be able to still skate really well when I'm 50 years old. So that's like a long-term goal, but that's gonna keep me focused, you know, the entire fucking time. So for me, like, that's a goal that I chose like a couple of years ago where I was just like, dude, you know what, screw it. I'm probably gonna be skating my whole life. I might as well stay good at it. <laughs> this next spot's close too, so we'll get there quick. So, just got to another street spot. This one's one of my personal favorites just to come and chill because it's, uh, it's just really easy to get into. You can see my car. Just this awesome little gap. It's always pretty mellow here too. It's never like too bad. Sometimes there'll be like some dudes. Woo, I missed the first dolly, damn it. Damn it! I always thought a really fun thing to do at this spot would be, see how it's like a downhill right here? I was thinking about like bringing or building a little kicker and putting it down here and just flying up. It'd be like a little like street mega ramp. Damn! Ali Arna? No. Dare you. Crazy. That was a crazy one. Yeah. You know what? It, you know what I think it is. I think this gap is too small for him. That's how you know when you're shredding hard, right there. Full lace blowout. Dusted. All right, well, we had a cool sesh, but uh, Jose broke his board. Freaking sucks. It's never a good thing. But uh, I think now we're just gonna maybe check out one more spot, and then I think go to South Park. Just kind of mess around over there. But uh, yeah, fun time. I love this place. It's got shade. If you guys haven't noticed by now, I love skating the shady spots. I'm trying to get toasted, bro. All right, so we're at South Park, and uh, I just thought of a kind of a cool idea for uh, Chewy. I'm gonna see how many tricks he can do down the rail. And I think it's gonna be a really high number. I think it's gonna be like maybe 30 or 40. So it should be pretty fun to watch. But uh, <laughs> let's see how it goes. I'll get the bucket out, it's too hot out here. That was the tricks he started off with.
There it is. Alright, good shit, Chewy. That was nuts. Thank you. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I'm tired now. Rail killer. Time to go get some food. Hell yeah. Alright, John. I need some food. Later, G. Right, dude, we'll skate easy. soon. Right. Have a good one. We are out. Our day is finished. At least the skating part. Maybe I'll vlog some more doing some other stuff, but I'm not really sure yet because I got a lot of editing to do. So, we got to edit Vinny Bond's SLS trick of the year video with him hard flip Indian the Hollywood 16. So, Gotta get home and do that. All right, guys. So we're here at South Park, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a health tip. I'm chilling, and this is a, uh, a foam roller, but it's got PVC pipe in the middle, so it's more intense. And uh, if your legs are ever like sore behind your knee or the back area, if you find something like this height and just kind of lay on it like that, it'll loosen your leg right up, dude. Pretty sick.